Okay, here's a couple of uh, uh, maybe three cascading riffs using double stops, and they're actually going to have a function. It's going to go from the five chord to the one chord. We're going to use the keys C, F, and G. So we're going to take advantage of some hybrid picking, which is your picking fingers. Um, so the first example, it's going to uh, there'll be a riff you can play over. Uh, a G7 chord to a C, or the 5 to 1 in C. Two measures of G, and then C. So, we're going to use double stops, and really it's just going to go down the scale, and we're going to use this open E as, a, as like a drone string, or I guess that's a good way to call it, good thing to call it. That's what it's going to sound like. So you get that sound in your head. Okay. And to do it, it's just it's just one pattern. You're going to... First, you should get familiar with the double stuff, that actually. Uh, but uh, they're all laid out, as you can see on the on the page there. So, what the pattern is with your picking hand, you're going to strike the top string, you make your first double stop, right? In this case, it's going to be the F and the D. And we're starting with that because, again, we're going from G7 to C. That top F is the seventh in that chord, and that D is the fifth. So, it's a strong, it's a strong um, harmony in that chord. So, we're going to start there. And... We're going to make that double stop, and then we're going to strike the top string with our middle finger. Strike the second string, the D, with our pick. And then ring finger is going to strike the open E string. So high F middle, pick for the D, and then ring finger hits the open E. So middle, pick, ring, middle, pick, ring. O over string wise one two one one two one one two one so then you just march that down using the right double stops just like that and you land on that C oops sorry So that's in the key of C. So that's G7 to C. Okay, so now the next one, we'll do the key of G. So really, um, fretting hand-wise, you only alter the F natural to an F sharp. So instead of starting out with F and D, we're going to start out with F sharp and D up here. So a little different pattern. And then there's going to be an F sharp down here on the second string, there's going to be an F-sharp way down here when we get to it. So that's going to be the, the change here. So, and that's going to be... Oops, sorry, made a mistake. So, um, start the same way. Now, instead of F and D, it's F-sharp and D. So just follow that pattern down. So same thing. Middle string, middle finger strikes the top string, pick strikes the second string, lift the first finger up, and we're going to use that E string as a drone note again. So, middle, pick, ring, over strings, one, two, one. So going down in the key of G, so this is now from D7 to G.
that's D7 to G key G. One more key left, now we're gonna do the key of F. So this will be the chords for playing over the chords, C7 to F. Measure the C7 to F. So, now here we're gonna start, we're gonna go up to the G. So we're gonna be all the way up here, the, uh, this is the 15th fret. Same picking pattern. Middle pick ring. Middle pick ring. And again, it's always uh, the two fretted notes and then the open E. So now here the difference is the F is back to natural and the B is flat, key of F. So again, it's uh, C7 for two measures F. And we're going to start up on this G. Now we're going to just march down. And F is our, our home note here. Okay. All right, so that's it. Hope you can use that. That um, I use it a lot, probably too much. But um, it's very usable. Any key, and you can work out once you work out the different um, wh where the changes are in the different key signatures, what notes are sharp or flat. You can actually use that for a couple more keys as well. All right. Anyway, thanks so much. Till next time. Bye.